Our state is world famous for our potatoes. But after newly released research, maybe we should be bragging about our tomatoes? Well, a new study finds the potatoes family tree is actually rooted with tomato in its DNA on this National Potato Day. And for today's Inside Ag, we looked at the study and what this means for researchers right here in Idaho. Potato and spuds. I guess tata. Potato or potato. And tomato is definitely tomato. No matter how you <laughs> or a new study says it, we know the potato is a piece of Idaho's pride. Research into the origins of potato has been going on for a very, very long time since since potato became an important food crop. We also know that today there are 107 wild potato species across the Americas. And the thing that all potato plants produce is this underground tubers or what we know as potatoes. It's a way for a plant to store starch and handle the seasons. But what we didn't know was where the whole potato lineage came from. But now scientists do and it took root nearly 9 million years ago after a new study published in cell finds our spuds have a little tomato in its bloodline. The tomato plant with beautiful red fruit uh, derived from pollination of flowers um, is strikingly different than the potato plant um, with potentially small green fruit or no fruit. Not twins, but more like cousins. Researchers say the potato's ancestors were basically a mashup between a tomato plant and this, E. tuberosum, a species of wild potato that doesn't have tubers. Today's potato comes mostly, it's 40% from this wild E. tuberosum plant and uh, 30% from tomato. When they think that hybridization event happened, it was like about 10 million, 9 million years ago. Um, one thing that was quite kind of interesting is they think that's when sort of seasons happened, started, like they started to be regular seasons on the planet. So maybe that's why it, they developed the tuber because, you know, to survive through that off season, perhaps, uh, maybe that was the selection pressure there. Um, the other thing they, they, that this study suggested is when the Andes kind of, uh, increased in elevation, they called it the sudden uplift. So that might have forced uh, sort of evolution of, of the, the potato as well in that instance. When you look at the potato industry as a whole and you look at maybe what might be the greatest hybrid ever created uh, in this uh, potato hybridization event, I think that's exciting to celebrate. It's a study all of these University of Idaho researchers have kept their eyes on because these findings help guide their research about plant development and disease control. So this is why this is this study uh, looking at the, the relationship between tomatoes or tomatoes and potatoes uh, is kind of exciting for us in a way because we know that the, the disease often comes in on tomatoes into home gardens that can transmit into our uh, commercial potato production. So um, we're always kind of aware of that relationship between tomatoes and potatoes and, and, and how that translates to disease risk. Which means finding a way to get reliable seeds for breeding potatoes resistant to disease and a changing climate and give better insights for growers on creating a greater tater. That connection is essential to the food that we eat today. And the UI Extension Office in Parma is also on high alert for farmers and a great resource. There they're able to detect airborne diseases that come from tomatoes and move to potatoes. And they're able to put out the alerts to farmers to ensure that they don't lose their crops to disease. So maybe it's time that we say maybe we're famous for tomatoes. And potatoes. I guess and potatoes. And watermelon. And watermelon. You've done so many stories. Who knew Idaho was famous was for a all of this? Hit, I gotta <laughs> say on mine. <laughs>